Here we have a 2003 Jeep Wrangler with the inline six. It is right hand drive so the battery is on the other side of the engine bay. And so is the steering shaft. But that shouldn't matter in today's diagnosis. This vehicle is stuck in limpid mode. The automatic transmission does not upshift. The transmission control module has a trouble code P0888. Transmission relay output always off. The powertrain control module has a trouble code P0700. Transmission fault present. So fixing the TCM code should also eliminate that PCM code. The causes for these codes could be a faulty transmission control relay, defective TCM or PCM or circuit issues such as an open somewhere in the circuit. Here's the wiring diagram for the transmission control relay. We're going to test the relay and then verify that all pathways are good. Open up your fuse box. You're going to see two big relays. You want the one in the middle. This is the transmission control relay. It's a five pin relay, even though only four female terminals are used. This top one is battery positive and the one to the right is ground. We have a test light that's hooked up to battery ground right now. It's working and it should light up at this top pin. So we have a good connection there, nothing here, nothing on the bottom, nothing to the right. We're going to connect to battery positive and now we're going to test the ground terminal here. Female terminal, it lights up, it's good. Nothing here, nothing here, and nothing here. With the test light, we have verified that the power and ground are good. Next, we test the transmission control relay. The view of the pins is with these two parallel pins at the bottom. With this view, this top pin is battery positive. This left pin is ground. Right pin is relay control. And the bottom pin is relay output. That middle pin is not used. Middle pin is not used. The resistance of this relay's coil should be about 75 ohms. You test the ground pin and the relay control pin. We are seeing 73.4, that should be good. Next, the battery positive and relay output are normally open. So we're connected to those right now and they are open. What we're gonna do now is feed battery positive to relay control and ground to the ground pin. Those are the left and the right pins. So I'm gonna set up for that now. I'm adding the ground to the ground. And all I gotta do is add battery positive here. The relay should click and we should have continuity. So here I am adding battery positive. It clicked. We have continuity. This relay is good. So now we can check the continuity between this left pin and the transmission control module. Remove the connector, loosen up this bolt with an eight millimeter and looking at it this way with this bulk thing on the top, the pins are numbered from the top left one all the way to whatever it is. We're going to look for pin 15, which is around right here. And we're going to check continuity between pin 15 and this left female terminal. Now we're set up to check continuity between pin 15 and this left female terminal. We have continuity. Now we're going to check continuity between this bottom female terminal and pins 16 and 17. Here we go with pin 16. We have continuity. And now we're going to go to pin 17 and we have continuity. These continuity tests have shown that the pathways to the TCM are not open. I checked the continuity between the fuse and pin 56 of the TCM off camera and it was good. My diagnosis, 
a defective transmission control module. Fast forward a week later, the TCM has been replaced. It came from a salvage yard. No reprogramming was required. No reprogramming was required. It was plug and play. And that took care of the issue. The transmission is shifting fine. So that wraps up this diagnostic video. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.